Today we're gonna learn how to walk on a leash. Hey, it's Erin and Guppy, and today we're getting some puppy training tips with... Shannon, how does Guppy do on the leash? He does good for the most part. It just depends on what's around us or like what's happening. Like if there are dogs around, people jogging, especially joggers. He always goes after joggers and I can't get his attention. Okay, oh. no worries. So it's really important that we have something that's nice and light for Guppy. Do you have his oh, leash? Yeah. Let's see here. We just got this. Is this. Oh, right? look at that. It's so fancy. What? Is this good? It's perfect. It's nice yes. and light. It's great for Guppy. Okay. Go ahead and put it on him. There we go. All good right. boy, Guppy. And oh, oh. he does that a lot. Does he do that often? Yeah, especially if he gets irritated with me. He kind of just crabs it and <laughs> tries to pull himself. Yeah, I haven't met very many puppies that are really comfortable on a leash. One thing you can do with that, is we mm -hmm. have a product called Bitter Apple. You can spray it all over his leash and it'll keep him from chewing it. Is it okay for him to have Yeah, it? it's totally safe. Oh. Here. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit here. And remember, <clears throat> don't lick the leash now. Okay, so now he won't bite the leash, but he has a problem when we walk sometimes, he kind of just plops <laughs> on the ground and he won't move regardless of what I do. Yes, absolutely. I've seen it happen before. We call it mopping the floors. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to pull him yeah. or tug him or force him. Mm -hmm. You want to encourage him. So one way you can do this, you can use a spoon with peanut butter or you can use a bully stick. This? Yeah, perfect. Oh. Look, oh, see, look, he likes it. This is going to help you to encourage him to follow along. He really loves the smell, so kind of guide him along with it. Hey, let him sniff it. There you go. You got it. And then just lead him with it? Yeah. Where are you going? This way? <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a little tension there. Does he do that a lot? Yeah, he gets distracted a little bit. And he pulls on the leash a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we could definitely work on Guppy's loose leash walking. Okay. Yeah, the cue that we're going to be wanting to work with is with me, like, you know, Guppy, walk with me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So when he starts to pull toward the tree, uh -huh. you're going to stop. Mm -hmm. You're going to call him back, mm -hmm. get a sit, get a watch me, and then start again. And then just start walking. Yep, it's just stop and go, stop and go. Okay. So the next one I want you to use is what we call the turnaround method. The turnaround method? Yeah, so it's exactly as it sounds. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So when you feel the tension, you're going to turn around, start walking. Oh, there goes Guppy, and turn around and start walking again. Oh boy. Yes. And then what if those two don't work? Is if those two don't work, we have one final method that'll help you out. So you're just going to get really super crazy. See how he's tugging on that leash? Back up towards me and say, Guppy, 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 Guppy. Back Guppy, up, Guppy, Guppy, walk Guppy. backwards. Come here. You walk come on. backwards. Come on. More. Come here, Puppy. Guppy, Guppy, you're making me look bad. Guppy, <laughs> come here. Come on. OK, OK, you oh. act, we need a little movement in it. So it looks like this. Come on, Guppy. Come on, Guppy. Yes, good boy. Really? Is that how it's going to be? He's okay. a teacher's pet. Oh, a teacher's <laughs> pet. Are you ready? You going to do it for me? Guppy, come on. Come on, Guppy. Oh, he's ready.